Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Gadgets and Toys. If you're obsessed about backpack and camera bags like me, you probably will have spent a huge amount of time searching for the perfect one. And today, I think my search has finally come to an end. I have switched a few bags over the years due to the growing gears and accessories. I started with photography exclusively many years back but that expands into videography and drones. In my current inventory, I own three camera bags, a light backpack from GoPro, surprisingly well designed for action camera, and you can fit in a mirrorless camera as well. I bought it mainly for the mounting on the shoulder strap, but after getting it, I uncovered many features that I found very useful. A medium backpack from Low Pro that is designed for outdoor activities, I got this bag mainly for my hiking and what I really like about it is that you can access all your gears without having to set the bag down. Proved to be very useful when I want to fly a drone in the middle of the hike. And I'm super excited to have received my newest pack from a Kickstarter campaign, the Peter McKinnon and Nomatic Camera Pack. And I've planned to use this backpack as my carry-on bag that will hold all my gears during the transit in my future trip. I backed the Kickstarter campaign last year, hoping that the bag will come in time for my Iceland trip this month. Kudos to Nomadic for being ahead of schedule for one full month. The bag arrived before my trip with weeks to spare. But the sad thing now is my trip is cancelled due to the virus. Nevertheless, this is by far my best and most expensive Kickstarter campaign that I've ever experienced. I ordered the one of everything bundle that cost 510 US dollar. After conversion and tax, it's almost 800 Singapore dollars. I'm sure many will find that this is very pricey for a camera bag, but I would like to point out that for all the six pieces that cost almost 800 Singapore dollars, it's still slightly cheaper than this little thing my wife called a pouch. What did you just say? Nothing, dear. <sighs> Let's go over some unboxing now. First off, the bags feel very sturdy and very well padded, able to hold its form and stand upright even when it's empty. Let's take a look from the outside of its function and features on the back. It has handle on all four sides, especially useful when you are putting into and putting out of the overhead compartments in the cabin. There's a magnetic pocket for water bottle and other stuff on one side of the bag. And on the other side, you will find a uh, quick access to all your gears. The wave straps are removable, so it's very handy to put them away when you don't need them. Thick and well padded shoulder straps with chest buckle. Multi-purpose strap to secure things in many fashions outside of the bag. Now let's go over the interior of the bag made up of four compartments. First off, there's an easy access from the front of the bag. On the side of the bag where you have the quick access is also the compartment for your laptop. The last two main compartments are found in the front and the back. Both of these compartments can be opened up fully to 180 degrees. The front main compartment is designed to store smaller devices and accessories like portable hard disks, power banks, cables, chargers, batteries etc. Also a small amount of apparel can be packed here. 
This compartment also allows a small expansion of a few litres of storage space. The back main compartment is the main highlight of the whole bag. All the big gears like cameras will fit in here. Besides the highly customizable main area, there's also pockets for more accessories and even a tablet. Next, let's move on to the camera cube. The cube mainly functions as added protection and storage for gears and fits nicely into the bag. It also doubles up as a walk-around backpack. Transformation begins at the top of the cube, opening up to review the rest of the bag. The top lid became the padding for your lower back for added comfort, a very thoughtful design. Next, a well-padded accessories case. The size of the case flush nicely into the main compartment, keeping things neat and tidy. Also a well-padded filter case for up to 6 filters. Also flush just as nicely as the accessories case. A magnetic battery case with indicator sticker provided. A magnetic memory card case for all your memory cards and little stuff. And also a complimentary waterproof cover. I'm really satisfied and happy with the quality of the material that has been used to make this bag. Highly customizable gear compartment. In fact, this bag came with the most number of dividers that I've ever seen so far in one bag. I think this bag is the one to beat and could very well be my last camera bag for traveling. I could only hope. And now I'm going to give you a few examples to illustrate how you can customize this backpack for various gears combinations. So there you have it, this is my unboxing and my first impression review of the Peter McKinnon Nomadic Camera Pack. Links to the Kickstarter campaign page and the Nomadic website will be down in the description below. Thanks for watching, if you find this video helpful or informative in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel, click on the like button and bell button for notification for future video. And lastly, amidst the global situation, please stay safe, stay healthy and take care of yourself. Bye!